everyone I, I hope you're having a good week uh, last night I got some great news so I was thumbing through Facebook and I seen the Hopkins County calendar and school starts back August the 26th I'm so excited I can't wait to see all my students in South Middle and South Side I've been waiting anxiously to see you all I missed you all this summer so anyway on this uh, video I interview uh, Miss Sieber. Uh, she is the principal at Southside Elementary. Actually, today is her last day. Today is Wednesday, and it is her last day because yeah, she's officially retired after today. So uh, I wrote down a few questions for her, and she answered them for me. And then after she gets done with her uh, uh, question and answering session, then I'm going to give you a small tour of uh, Southside Elementary so you can see what it looks like. I know some people know what it looks like inside, but some people don't. So this is your opportunity to see what Southside Elementary looks like. And um, I know I've done a tour of uh, South Middle a couple of weeks ago. So today you get to see what Southside Elementary looks like. So I hope you enjoy this video and hopefully next week I will have another video. So make sure uh, you hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the like. All right. So check this video out and I hope you enjoy it and see you all August the 26th. Oh, good morning, everyone. This is my last day of work, and today is my um, day that I'm retiring. So um, I'm moving on. Um, Officer Logan had some questions he wanted me to answer for everybody. And the first one is, says, since you're retiring, what are the feelings that are coming in your mind? Well, first of all, I'm very sad um, that I'm gonna be leaving Southside. I've been here as principal for eight years. And I first started at Southside um, as a teacher, and that was in 93, I think. Um, so I've been at Southside for, for quite a while um, as a teacher, and then went to Arlington and taught and was curriculum coordinator and came back to Southside for my last eight years. So I'm very happy to 
uh, basically have started my career at Southside and now I'm going to be ending my career at Southside. So um, it makes me very sad to leave, but I'm also very happy to, to be moving on and being able to do something else. Okay, next question. Rather than being a teacher or principal, what else was your dream? Well, when I started college, I wasn't sure what I wanted to be. Uh, I started school to become a, an orthodontist and decided that that's not really what I wanted to do. So I changed and decided that uh, maybe I want to be a lawyer. And I worked on that for a while and then decided, no, maybe that's not what I wanted to do. So I took a children's literature class and of course I always love reading. I still love to read. So once I took that literature class, I knew then that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to become a teacher. So um, that's how I started um, in that path. And second or third question, what were difficulties you faced in your life as becoming a teacher and a principal? Well, of course, as anything, you have to work hard and um, to become a teacher, it is, it is a lot of hard work. And becoming a principal is a lot of hard work. I had to go to school for a long time and I had to work very hard, make good grades, study um, to become both of those. And of course, um, being a mom and having a family, um, that's sometimes difficult too. So you have to uh, divide your time and uh, set your priorities and work that out. So sometimes that could be, uh, be a challenge too. Uh, what are my retirement plans? Well, um, I plan on doing a lot of traveling. My husband and I are leaving on a trip uh, very, very soon, actually tomorrow, and we're going to be uh, traveling for a while. Um, I plan to spend a lot of time on the beach. That's one of my favorite places to go. So I will be on a beach in Gulf Shores a lot, and also like to spend some time with my family. My son lives in Nashville, so I hope to see him more. Uh, I hope to spend uh, more time with my mom, and of course my nephews and my brother and my sister-in-law, and just uh, friends that I don't get to spend a, a lot of time with outside of school. So I'm looking forward to doing that also. And the last question, anything you want to say to the current or former students? Well, there's been a lot of former students because I have been a, a teacher or principal for the last 29 years. So I've had a lot of uh, former students and it's always nice to see those students uh, again. And in the last few years, I've seen uh, my former students, their children have become my students. So uh, that's that's been fun and a pleasure to actually see those um, those my former students grow up and to have children of their own. So um, I'm definitely going to miss my current students, the ones that have been here at Southside with me the last few years. But I just want to tell everybody that I have loved um, loved being here, and I am going to miss you. And I wish every one of you the best. All of my former and current students and my friends here at Southside and everyone that I've worked with in the last 29 years. Uh, it has definitely been a pleasure and I knew uh, once I started on the path to be a teacher that this is what I wanted to do. And it's definitely a calling and I hope to um, still do something where I'm working with uh, with children because that's, that's my love is to be able to work with children. So Anyway, I thank everyone for allowing me to have this opportunity. So I hope everybody has a great rest of the summer and a wonderful start um, to the school year and a great school year next year. Bye-bye, everybody. Love you. So if you've never been in Southside, uh, it's got the same setup as uh, Jesse Stewart in Madisonville, uh, same uh, layout design. Uh, the school can be very confusing. I know I got lost a time or two when I first started, but anyway, I know my way around now. Let's check it out. So we're walking into foyer. The hallway, and there's Miss Dawn. Say hi, Miss Dawn. Hi. All right, she's our receptionist here. Uh, we're going to start here on the left. As you can see, there's some belongings that the kids never came and picked up. But
these office doors, they connect back to that office. We got a hallway down here, which uh, to the right is the gym, and to the left is the computer lab. And right here is our two mount comp. Uh, this is where their office is. And we have the plum pod. We're gonna walk through here. No, the lights are off. Got a little bathroom area here. And we are leaving out of this pod and we're going to the yellow pod. So there's off of each hallway there's a pod so that's where we came from down there at that hallway and this is the media center back in the day we would call it the, the library but anyway let's go on back down here to the yellow pod a little cubby holes some of the offices Got a custodian walking, doing some work. <laughs> That's proof they do work hard. We're leaving that pod. We're going to the red pod. And it's basically like a circle because here's on the back side of the media center. But there's little pods that run off of each hallway. And they're all similar. Then we got a couple of other classrooms here in this hallway. It's very confusing at first if you don't understand. There's the hallway we started at. Come on through, Miss Lois. Yeah, I'm videoing. Yeah, oh yeah. You gonna be on video. On Facebook. Yes. We got Miss Lois, she's gonna come by. She's sneaking by, so she won't be on, on video, but I got her. <laughs> you're welcome, you're welcome. Steph restrooms as you can see the water fountains are covered up we got the music room here and this takes us out to the playground playground area I've seen this you are Kind, gifted, witty, beautiful, smart, huh? And here's me. And we got the family resource room. And then we got another pod here. This is where fifth grade is usually at. This is their hall. Then there's kindergarten. And preschool is over here. So, we'll walk back around. The halls, I guess apparently they are cleaning the cafeteria, the cafe. So here's the cafeteria. And here is the gym. Let's walk down here to the gym. And the lights pop on when I walk in. So here's the gym. In the mornings, this is where all the kids meet up. They bring the bleachers out and the kids sit in here until their teachers come and get them. Uh, Usually there's a partition up right here that separates the the uh, 
gym from the cafeteria. So when the kids get done in the cafeteria, they come in the gym and then the parents, not the parents, the teachers come and pick them up. Okay, like I said, I know it's very confusing, but that is the front door that I walked in where we made a left. So if we would have made a right, this is where we would come down the hall. And this is the fourth grade pod. So it's a pretty unique design of the school. This is usually where I hang out at during the day. Miss Melissa's room. So that's usually my hangout during the day because I, I don't have an office here. Uh, let me see, somebody drew a picture of me. You see that? That's me. I believe Ainsley drew that. I don't know if you can read it. But but anyway, somebody at this school think I'm special. So, but anyway, that's pretty much Southside Elementary. Like I said, this is where I usually uh, come during the daytime. I split my time at South Middle and Southside. So, I don't know what these bikes are for, but I may take one for a ride here shortly. So. Anyway, see y'all later.